In a recent media interaction, Real Madrid shortstop Thibaut Courtois discussed the recently concluded El Clasico, Hendrik, Lunin, and the fitness levels after the shocking 2-1 defeat to Barcelona in New Jersey. We are going to be talking you literally on that in this episode as we progress. And then shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as Netflix is set to release a documentary about Real Madrid midfield legend Tony Cruz on August the 16th. We are going to be providing you with the full details of that in this episode as we progress. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Thibaut Courtois did not participate in the recently concluded European Championships and was amongst the first to return to training under Carlo Ancelotti last month. The veteran goalkeeper who played 45 minutes against AC Milan in the first preseason friendly once again started against Barcelona. He played full 90 minutes in New York, recording 4 saves, including 3 from inside the box. Unfortunately, it was not enough as the team fell to a 2-1 defeat. Speaking to the media after the game, Courtois commented on a plethora of topics ranging from his fitness to the team's new signings. The Belgian shortstopper began by providing an outline of the game that unfolded in New York and his takeaways from the 90 minutes. We were quite competitive, we created, we worked well. We are never happy with the defeat, but the game could have gone anywhere. It is a preseason. We are still working well, and also many guys have played the last 20 minutes and very well. That is the good thing about the game. And to keep taking minutes for the match against Atalanta, he added. Speaking on the team's young debutant, Jacobo Ramon, Rafael Abrado, and Lorenzo Aguado, the veteran did not hesitate to heap praise on their quality. It is incredible, debuting with Real Madrid at the age that they are, in a stadium of over 80,000 people, even if it is a preseason, has to be unique. They have fought very well, they have shown quality and enthusiasm. Jacobo has run the whole line. It is what the guys are asked to do and have personality, he added. The goalkeeper was then asked to provide an update on his physical fitness and feelings ahead of the new season. I feel very good and want to help from day one. These are times to continue learning even as a goalkeeper, he said. I feel good with the saves, blocks and even the passes. That is what the coach asked me to do and that is what I am working on. While Courtois return to complete fitness is great news for Real Madrid, one player who has stand to lose is Andre Lunin. Forced back to the bench despite his performances last season, the Ukrainian has been widely linked with the departure. I am not to decide for him. I understand that he played a lot last year and he wants to continue playing. He is a great goalkeeper and deserves the best, Kothua said when asked about Lunin. These preseasons we play matches that are interesting for the fans and for the public that goes to the stadium. In the end, the stadium are filled when Real Madrid plays, he added. The 32 years old went on to give his two cents on losing against Barcelona in preseason once again, insisting that preseason friendlies counted for nothing. That we don't like to lose against Barcelona is obvious. 
even if it is a preseason game. You don't want to lose. But in the end, what counts are the official games in the season? Finally, Courtois was asked to speak on Hendrik. Real Madrid new signing who even started the clash against Barcelona. He doesn't have much height, but he has very strong legs. He is a bit like Eden Hazard I played with at Chelsea, who has strong legs. You can kick him and he is still standing up. And he has a lot of strength in the shot. In training, I have seen him kick hard, the goalkeeper added. Above all, I think he has to be a little calmer. I don't know if he is a little nervous, it is going to get better and better with time. The goalkeeper concluded, as quoted by Spanish publication Marca. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as Netflix is set to release a documentary about Real Madrid midfield legend Tony Cruz on August the 16th. It is time for Real Madrid fans to mark their calendars as the much anticipated documentary Cruz is set to premiere on August 16. This was recently confirmed by Netflix Spain, with the documentary set to chronicle the illustrious career of the German midfield maestro. Cruz recently hung up his boots after the Euro 2024, concluding a steroid, a steroid career that saw him become a linchpin for both Real Madrid and the German national team. The German played an instrumental role in the club's dominance contributing to numerous La Liga titles, Copa del Rey victories and UEFA Champions League triumph, the most recent of his came in the club's last game of his professional career. Cruz has also recently won the German Player of the Year thanks to sensational 2023-24 season and a key role in Germany's Euro 2024 campaign. The documentary promises an in-depth look at Cruz's journey from his early days in Germany to his rise to prominence on the global stage. It offers fans a behind-the-scenes glimpse into his meticulous preparations, on-field brilliance and personal moments that shaped his career. Featuring interviews with former teammates, coaches, and Cruz himself, the film is said to provide a comprehensive and intimate portrait of a player whose vision and precision have left an, in, an indelible mark in the sport. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time, and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.